Hey there everyone, this is Danielle. Having just been underwhelmed having just been underwhelmed by Origami King here, I am now gonna take a look at Bug Fables. Uh this is an indie title. It's kinda like the Stardew Valley of the Paper Mario series. In that it's an indie title that has the same spiritual idea as the good games in the series, but with unique characters and design and everything. That's my understanding anyway. I haven't played it yet. Um, hopefully it lives up to my expectations that I've just described to you, because, yeah, um, I, I understand it's very similar in design to The Thousand Year Door, which I've already said is one of my favourites, so let's see how we go with Bug Fables. Uh, I didn't actually play Bloodstained between the two games, I just thought I'd check if it had an update, and it did, so it updated. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I played Origami King, was underwhelmed. Let's see if Bug Fables is better. Da Dangan? Dangan Entertainment? Moonsprout Games? The Leaf in the Corner? Uh... Bug Fables, The Everlasting Sapling. Uh, let's look at the settings first. What do we got? We got Music Volume, Sound Volume, Dialogue Volume, Music After Battle Resume? Or Restart? Oh, I see. Mash Action Commands? Fill bar sequential buttons, I don't know what that means. Maybe it's like an accessibility thing, so if you don't want to mash, you can switch it to something else. I hope that's what it is, 3D outlines, full, oh I see. Okay, you can get those nice outlines, or you can make them a little thinner. You can see in the background what it's doing. Uh, that's probably fine the way it is. Language, what language is this support? Let's have a quick look. Uh, English, Japanese, and Spanish. Or Latin American Spanish at least. Cool. I only speak English, so we're gonna leave it on English. Bug Fables, The Everlasting Sapling. I hope this game is as good as I'm expecting. <laughs> okay, you get three save files, that's an improvement. Uh, Origami King gives you one save file. New quest, type in a file name. Uh, I always name my files in um, Paper Mario games just Mario. Uh, I don't know what to call this one. Uh, bug? I don't, I'm not a fan of this alphabetical keyboard, I gotta say. Um, and I press plus? Yeah, confirm. Yep, bug is okay. I don't know if there's a character called that. There is in Starship, which is what I'm currently thinking of. Ah, the land of Bulgaria. A peaceful, prosperous place where many adventurous bugs gather. Although, it wasn't always that way. Lured by the promise of riches and lush fields, a young queen visited these lands many moons ago. Together with her daughters and fellow, fellow ant servants, she established Bulgaria's modest first settlement. People were happy, the ant kingdom flourished, and yet the queen's dream had still not been fulfilled. She had heard of an ancient people who safeguarded a treasure of unbelievable power, it was none other than The Everlasting Sapling, a plant which would grant unending youth and strength to any who ate even one of its leaves. She searched and searched and searched. Alas, she never found it. She entrusted her dream to the princess before falling into a hard-earned sleep. Determined to succeed where her mother did not, the new queen rallied the people together under her cause. Opening the doors of the kingdom to bugs of all shapes and kinds, she attracted ambitious and skilled adventurers. Her decree was loud and clear. Find me the everlasting sapling, and you shall know wealth like no other bug ever has. With this, the Explorers Association was founded, with its many members searching across the kingdom for clues and treasure. Even though to this day the sapling has not been found, but every bug dreams of one day claiming it for themselves. Okay. That, this intro reminds me a bit of Paper Mario 1, the N64 game. Oh. Or at least, those were the stories I was told in my land. Despite many unfortunate incidents, tales of your people have helped me keep my adventuring spirit alive. Rest assured, Kabu, they are not mere, legend, mere legends, but real history. This Explorers Association, and all the explorers who risk their wings for glory, are proof of that. Then, Sir Marky, would you consider my earlier offer? 
Kabu, I respect your passion, but I take missions of the highest danger. An unpro unproven warrior is not fit to accompany my team. Unproven? Marky, I've bested many hardships in the north. Or so you say. The knowledge of our culture and your passion for exploring is true as my blade's edge, Kabu. But I would ask you to not press the issue. This is not the place to call us cause a scene. What? Care to say that again? As I said, we cannot allow children to explore, much less snake mouth den. I'm not a kid. So much for that. Would you accompany me, Kabu? It's my duty to investigate. Hmm, well if you insist. Use up, down, left, and right to move around. Press A to jump or talk to people. Okay, so I'm playing as Kabu here. Uh, you can use the, the analog stick if you want, and it does give you like different amounts of movement. It's like I'm tilting this a little bit and just walking slow. Or you can use the D-pad, both do the same thing. I press the A button to jump. Very, very Paper Mario. The visual style here is also extremely Paper Mario. We've got the little flippy thing going on, as you can see. Uh, the shoulder buttons do nothing. X, Y, B, oh, one of those did something. Y button does this. I don't know what that is, is yet. Uh, clicking the sticks does nothing. Minus does nothing. Plus opens this menu. Okay, now let's walk over and have a look. Eatle. Eat B. Lower your voices. What is the matter? This guy's calling me a kid, says I can't explore. Shouting isn't going to change the rules, you child. Shut it. It's not about age, it's about skill. I'm Vi, the best explorer the hive has ever seen. Is it Vi or V? Probably V, because it rhymes with V. The best explorer the hive has ever seen. I'm not some random bee. An explorer bee? Yeah, got a problem? Saying bees can't explore? Is with it honey and paint? I didn't say that, but... Silence, please. This guild of ours is no place for petty squabbles. Look, I can't just give a permit to some bee, much less without a partner. It seems to be a duo of explorers, you know? I'm worth like four bees, okay? Hey, V. What do you want? Why don't we join forces? We both wish for a permit, yet like a companion. What, do I look that desperate? I don't even know you. I have a promise I must keep, and for that I must explore. How bad could it be? Well, it can't be worse than having to say put. Deal. Wait, you two are just crazy. You won't last a second at Snake Mouth. I'll prove you wrong. No. You are both, most likely, mere novices, ruled by your strong emotions. I have no doubt that if you left today, you'd return inside a bag. Sir Marky, although you outrank me in spades, you shouldn't underestimate me. I went through quite a bit to get here. Yeah, bugs like you that look down on others are really annoying. Hmm, very well. I shall test your resolve. Test us, huh? Who named you king of this joint? The Ant Queen herself. She has knighted me as her royal blade. Not again. I accept your challenge. V, get ready. Watch your own horn. I was born ready. Sorry, watch your own horn. I was born ready. So yeah, this this uh, visual style and like the speech bubbles and the little speech bubbles and all that is extremely Thousand Year Door. That game does the same thing, and it's it's real good. V, our opponent is no amateur. Amateur. Would you like to review some combat tips? Sure. Hear me up. Maybe I'll even learn something. Listen then. We can both perform one action per round. We get attacking, using an item, etc. We can power up our attacks by performing commands unique to each move. Watch this. If I hold down long enough, I can power up my horn strike. Okay, so that's basically a hammer attack in a Thousand Year Door. Exactly the same. Holding a button? Lame. Look at this. If I press A at the right time, I can power up my beamerang. <laughs> a beamerang? Cool. See? We're doing great. Don't let your guard down, V. After our turn ends, the enemy's next. I know, and if I press A at the right time... Pressing A before an enemy hits you reduces damage received. With perfect timing, you reduce even more damage. Ow! What the heck? You trying to kill us or something? Hmm, if you can't handle that much, you should surrender. Go home and guard honey with your silly toy. Toy? Ugh, now I'm mad. We should pay him back tenfold. It's time to use a skill. They just like attacks, we select them from the yellow flower. 
Skulls require us to use our TP. Teamwork points, though, so watch out for how many we have left. We should patch your wounds, too, using items from the blue flower. Toggle between commands using left and right. Okay, so yeah, this is extremely similar to House in Your Door. <laughs> uh, we've got regular attack, we've got items, we've got skills. Skills, yeah, they were called flower points in Thousand Year Door, but it's the same basic idea. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, misunderstood what to do. Oops. <laughs> uh, skills. Taunt. Taunts enemies, making them focus on attacking Kabu for this turn. That sounds useful. I'm not sure of the timing yet. Tomato toss. S Such skill with the blade. You pass. What? You performed well enough. I could feel your desire to see the world through your attacks. I am no one, no one to keep you from your explorer permit. Eetle, you may grant it to them. I get no say in this, huh? But Marky is the Queen's Blade. Here, you can have it. You got the explorer permit. I did it! Snake Mouth Den is going to be all mine, all the riches, all the glory. Uh, we did it. Snake Mouth Den lies to the west of the association, a simple path, although filled with danger. There is much treasure to be found, but its jaws have claimed many. Marky. Seriously, brother, how long are you going to keep me waiting? My apologies, Kina. V, Kabu, I must be going now. As you can see, duty calls me. May you succeed in your mission. What a weird bunch. He ended up causing quite the scene himself. That fighting prowess, how many years must he have trained? So, uh, I'm V, I guess, from the hive near the big tree? Oh, I am Kabu. I moved in just one moon ago, from the north. Cool. Indeed. Um, so Marky said Snake Mouth was to the west, right? Should we get moving? Right, yeah, let's go right away. Don't fall behind, okay? Hey, wait, you two. Something wrong? You know what the goal of the Snake Month Exposition is, right? Uh, of course. Alright, I hope you can find the ancient artifact the Queen is after. Good luck out there. Thank you, we'll be back soon, I promise. Okay, we're looking for an ancient artifact the Queen is after. Got it. Chapter 1. A dysfunctional trio. Oh, uh, doing chapters like that is extremely Paper Mario. Oh my goodness. Change the party leader by pressing X. You can check your inventory, stats, and other things by pressing plus. Okay, I'm gonna keep V in because she's super cute. Look at that cutie. Let's go. Hello. Phew, finally done. Sometimes work just doesn't stop coming. Uh, okay, who are you again? Excuse ya, I'm artist and I keep this place running. Oh, thank you for all your hard work. Uh, yeah, thanks. So you two faced Marky, eh? Betcha found it a tad too easy. You know it. <laughs> I see you lot like challenge. One sec, I have this one thing. Please take it. You got the hard mode medal. Boosts enemy strength but gives you more EXP and rewards. You got a medal. These artifacts help you by giving you different effects. To equip medals, go into the pause when you're pressing plus and select medals and stats. Once there, you can equip medals to different party modes using left and right to switch who you're equipping to. Medals cost MP to equip. Be sure to check how much you have left. What is this? A medal? Let's say it should make things more interesting for you. The higher the risk, the higher the reward, as they say. If you defeat any powerful enemies while wearing it, come see me, alright? I won't say no to free stuff. You've got a deal. Thank you for entrusting us with it. Take care, artists. Safe exploring, folks. Remember to check in every now and then. Okay, so this thing we just got, this medal. There's a thing called badges in Paper Mario 1 and 2. Like the N64 game in the Thousand Year Door, which is exactly like this. You can equip them, they take up points. They're called badge points instead of metal points, but the same thing, they have different useful effects. This one is free, it doesn't cost any points because it makes the game harder. Uh, whereas other ones might cost you. Uh, 
Anyway, um... Is V a girl? I'm not really sure. I, I think so, but I'm not sure. Oh, Eri, why must Mikey be so dreamy? Have you gone mad, Jen? He's so arrogant. You tell her, Ari. Pompous as he ever was. Pompous as he was, he was at least kind enough to test us. Oh no, he does that to everyone. You see this once a week. Oh, Marky, such a show off. Ugh, that stupid role playing wannabe gatekeeper. I'll show him. This will not stand. I shall challenge him to a duel to the death, our honor on the line. Hey, you don't have to go that far. Oh, um, he's just kidding, right, Kavu? Uh, yes, of course. Kidding. I was most certainly only jesting. You better have been. Well, let's just go, Kabu. Uh, oh, cool. Look, it does the flippy thing. This is very uh, Paper Mario. Like, the early games did this so much. Whenever you go through a door in, in um, N64 or TTYD, it would flip the whole building around like that. So it's, it's nice to see that effect again. I'm guessing if I press X, yeah, now I'm playing as this guy. Okay, so that wasn't a thing you could do in Paper Mario, but it looks like they're putting like equal importance on each character, so you need to be able to swap them around, I guess. Also, yeah, this looks extremely like a Paper Mario right now. Oh my goodness. Look at all these little bugs. Hello. Hey, why are you hitting that crystal? You could break it, you know? Huh? You really don't know? Just tell us why. Forgive my partner Celia, her mouth is most loose. This is an ancient crystal, correct? They're unique to this land. Correct, they can store the record of previous travellers if you smack them with something. This crystal is yellow, so it will even heal your wounds. Want me to believe that? All that awesome stuff for hitting a rock? Huh, <laughs> you were one of little faith. Come on, Levi, show him. Would you like to save? Yes, saving. Please stand by. Save complete. It is done. Whoa, it really works. This must sell for a fortune. All you'll get for this crystal is prison time. Only the Ant Queen can authorize placing these rocks in public spaces. Even if you find one in the wild, they are too heavy to be carried by a single bug. There goes that idea. Still, their properties are amazing. Let's use them when we can, V. Yeah, sure. Let's get a move on. Best of luck. How do I hit them? Can you hit them? No, I, ca I can't hit them with anything. I wonder how that works. Hmm. <laughs> I must need like something I haven't got yet. Ah, these rocks are getting in the way of our trade routes. If this isn't cleared soon, we will lose money. Get on with it, ants. This should never even happen. I understand my wife is upset, but there is nothing we can do until the rocks are cleared. Hrumph, I should have gone to the city earlier. Now I have to wait until this mess is cleared. Can I go up here somewhere? Doesn't look like it. Heave ho, heave ho. Last night's rain was really heavy. We are very busy clearing up the paths. Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay, I guess we can't go that way yet. We can go this way. Oh, this looks so great. North, Ant Kingdom. West, Snake Mouth Way. South, Golden Path. The path ahead leads to Snake Mouth Den. Currently, only licensed exploration teams can pass. Do you have a permit? Sure do. Hmm. Alright, this checks out. Open up the gate. Safe travels, explorers. Can I jump on that? It looks like it might have a spike on its head. Can't really tell. Well, I jumped on it, but it didn't... nothing happened, I guess? You got six exploration points. Okay, so that's exactly like Paper Mario. Uh, you had to get star points in that game, and when you got to 100, you leveled up. Looks like it's exactly the same here. You saw it said, like, out of 100 or whatever. So yeah, same game. It 
Oops. The timing is a little trickier on that boomerang than it is on a jump attack. It's alright. I'm guessing the stuff they're dropping is money. Oh. Did I take damage from that? Nope. Okay. That's fine then. Hey, like checking up close? Annoyed when an enemy is out of reach? Ask a friend who can fly or toss something at it to bring it down. Press X to switch positions in battle and attack. Well, uh, I'm a B. I should be able to fly, but maybe I haven't unlocked that ability yet. Nice. Singular enemy? Hmm. This is so, so Paper Mario. Oh wow, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm just admiring how they've replicated the aesthetic so well. It's so pretty. It looks great. I need to work on my blocks. Excuse me, bug of old complexion. Is everything alright? Hey, Kabu, we're supposed to be adventuring. Snake Mouth Den? Endless riches? Sorry, V. Sorry, V. I cannot ignore an old bug in distress. First of all, name's Chuck, and I bet I'm younger than both of you. What you've got to know? I'm almost done arranging my cozy rest space for travellers going to Snake Mouth Den. I just can't pull out this darn weed. You call this cozy? Chuck, Snake Mouth Den is more dangerous than rain on a wedding day. Shouldn't you be wearing warning travellers? Look, will you help me or not? I'm not doing any pulling, at least not for free. Hmm, <laughs> watch this V, if I press v, B near small bushes or rocks. Whoa, nice! Something like this is no match for my horn. I'll be, you actually helped me, this made my week. You got a reward ready, right? But V, helping others is already his own reward, and you didn't do anything. <laughs> it's really, really not. Ho oh, ho ho ho, no worries. Helpful bugs deserve gratitude. I ain't got much, please take this. You got ten berries. Berries, so many berries. Use them to buy something nice later, alright? Thank you, we surely will. Be going now. Make sure to warn others of the danger. If you are near something that can be interacted with the horn, an exclamation mark will drop over the party leader's head. Alright, so I have to switch that guy to be the leader, so I can use his ability. Okay, I see. Found a honey drop. Honey produced in the bee kingdom. Makes you happy, but also fat. Produces- restores 5 TP. Okay, so honey syrup was a thing in Paper Mario, 
which had exactly the same effect. So, yeah. <laughs> They've taken a lot of cues from that game, and it's making me really happy. I am really, really enjoying this. Can I cut that down? Doesn't look like it. So let's have a look around and see what things I can take out with my new power. Where are you going? Snake Master's through the northwest. Uh, yeah, I knew that. Okay, we can't go that way yet. Gotta go this way. I assume we can use the horn to hit, um, save crystals as well. Want to know more about the enemies you're fighting? Don't forget you can spy using the strategies menu during battle. Interesting. Sounds like tattling to me. Tattling was an option in all the Paper Mario games you could do to find out about enemies in a fight. But they've renamed it Spying, apparently. Oh, yep, you can first strike. I wasn't sure if you could. Awesome. Uh, oh, yeah, strategies are now showing up. So I can do switch order, spy, do nothing, or flee. Oh, you get two turns in a row. Okay, that's good. First strike gives you two attacks. That's pretty neat. Uh... Hmm, seems this land has seedlings as well. Despite their adorable looks, they plague many fields and have no qualms devouring crops. Although weak and puny in comparison to me, their flying variation is troublesome as I can't reach it. I'll have to ask I have to ask V for help. Uh... Oh now we can see their health. Yeah, I, I figured that would happen. Oh, it tricked me. Oh, they tricked me again! <laughs> I am really liking this. Oh my goodness. Yay! What is that? A crunchy leaf, a dry leaf, has a satisfying crunch when bit. Restores 4 HP to an ally. Okay, so a dry leaf is a mushroom. <laughs> this is it. Snake Mouth Den. It doesn't look that scary, you know? According to rumours I have heard, it's the grave of a thousand explorers. Having ended countless journeys, many a song has been written about its dangers. F for real? This interior must be absolutely riddled with monsters and death traps. We must be extremely cautious. Jeez, way to sell it to me, Kabu. But the higher the danger, the better the treasure. Hmm, it's true the artifact is likely to be inside, but are simple riches worth such a risk to you? Stop trying to scare me off. Let's get in there. I must make sure she stays safe. Okay, she. Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure. <laughs> okay. She's a cute bee. Her personality reminds me of uh, Gimbella from Fowls in the Adore. Oh, I think anyone's allowed to spy in this game instead of needing a certain partner to do it, so... That's a little bit simpler. A bit easier to understand. Uh, that looks like a save rock. Oh, and that looks like something. What's that? We found a crystal berry. These are rare items sought by collectors around the world. Maybe someone will trade them for rare goodies somewhere. You can check how many you have in the, in the pause menu. Okay, so those are star shards. Would you like to save? Yes. Saving. Please stand by. Save complete. Uh, let's go in. Let's keep going. I'm, I'm excited. There is much more light here. This room must be quite near the cracked ceiling. What a surprisingly cozy entrance. Uh-huh. Hey, Carbo. Do you really have to comment on every small thing? I... I'm sorry. Hey, don't look so sad. Uh, how about this? If I want to know more about where we are, or about something or someone near us, I'll just tap minus. Sounds good? <laughs> Very well. I'll make sure to have information at hand for when you do. 
<laughs> cool, now let's keep going. So yeah, um, this was a feature in the Paper Mario games. You could press a button to find out about the location, like this. <laughs> Snake Mouth Den is quite cozy. It's quite dangerous, but this room is quite cozy. Let's go before you jinx it. <laughs> oh my goodness, that looks scary. Um, oh, red. Does that mean it gets to hit me first? Looks like it does. My goodness. Okay, that stuns them. We should spy on that guy and find out how much health they have. Next time we see one. Something interesting there. No, that's just decorative. Okay. Looked interesting. I assume we'll get to fly at some point because our characters do have wings. Some enemies have defense, which reduces the power of your attacks. Sharp horns ignore some defense and can even flip certain enemies, negating defense entirely. Yeah, that checks out. The bridge seems to be out. How are we going to cross? Well, that's it. Game over. Let's go back. Wait, V, hold on, it's too soon to give up. There must be a way. Duh, I was kidding, you know. Look over there. It's one of those ancient switches. We just need to hit it. You can just fly over to it, right? That's too much effort. I've got a better plan. My mighty beamerang. I just need to get in front with X and press B to throw it. I will trust you with this, then. Give it your best shot. Okay, so now we can use the beamerang in order to hit stuff at a distance. It's a bit like a hammer, it's a bit like a shell toss. Both of which are abilities that you have in Paper Mario. <laughs> uh, oh, I guess that works. <laughs> well done, V. I wasn't expecting you to do that. Um, yeah, of course, just as planned. Let's continue. I'm glad to have a reliable partner. Super reliable. God, she's adorable. Love you, V. I'm guessing it's V, like, I'm not, I'm not really sure. Beamerang can't cut those down. Can I hit the switch now? Seems to be broken. Hmm. Huh. Oh, those guys are hard to first strike. I do want to spy on this guy. What's up with this thing? It's like a spiky pill bug. Its armor is really strong, so I can barely hurt it. I bet Carby can flip it over, though. back and heal. I'm not very strong yet. You found an aphid egg. An egg from a happily raised aphid. Make sure to eat it before it hatches. It stores 3 HP to an ally. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> hmm. Leave this place, for beyond this point lies great danger. We have already lost one of ours to this wretched place. Curses. This coziness was an illusion. Our path won't be easy, that much is for sure. No place full of treasure's ever been safe. So many have fallen looking for riches. Let's find the treasure quickly so no one else ventures in here. I will do this for them. Logbook updated. Uh, is there a... Oh, there was another door over there. I might just quickly backtrack and top up our health a little bit.
make sure we're strong enough to proceed. Is there anything back there? Can I get through there? Looks like there's like a section behind there. Mm, it doesn't look like it. So, can V just not fly because she's too lazy? Because that's kind of funny. Cool, let's go. leaf. Yay. I like crunchy leaves. Purple? Oh, I get I get two attacks. Okay. Is that what purple means? <laughs> still worked. New leveled up. <laughs> On we go. Oh, is that the thousand year door? Oh, it's a rank, not a level. <gasps> it's exactly the same! Oh my gosh! Pick a stat boost for the new rank. Oh my goodness, look! This is exactly how leveling up works in Paper Mario, N64, and TTYD. When you level up, you can pick health, or you can pick skill points, or you can pick medal points. Badge points. Um, and you only get one of the three. Uh, let's go with health first. I usually try to balance it out and get some of each thing. Violent- oh, Violent Secret Stash. Interesting. So that's a little bit unlike Paper Mario. You don't normally learn new abilities on level up, but I think it's welcome in this case. <laughs> if you, you take my gist there. Uh... What have we got going on here? Oh, I see. Oh, oh, I see what we're doing here. We're opening the thousand year door by putting these rocks onto these thingies. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. And then we can come over here. And that should open the door. Or oh, not. A mushroom? What? We did all this for that? Seriously, it wasn't even a rare item. Heck, it wasn't even a rare mushroom. Who designed this place? I will sting them in the face. I'll tear the place down. Come now, V. Unfortunate as it may be, let's pick it up and start looking again. Grrr. You found a mushroom. A mushroom. Beyond average. Restores 3 HP to an ally and cures poison. Guess that's good. Huh? What? Oh. 
いやー Phew, that was close. Kabu, are you okay? I guess he is. Hmm. This is the perfect time to go home. I don't like the look of that place. V, what are you doing? But I'm his reliable teammate. I'm gonna regret this. <laughs> uh, no rush, I can wait. Oof, I am lucky this mushroom broke my fall. I would have carried you, but you seem really heavy. I assure you I am lighter than I seem. Uh-huh. Anyways, this place is really creepy. I must agree. It doesn't seem to be a way back up for me back up for me. We'll have to look around. Don't you have wings too? Let's be careful, okay? You were almost a goner. Like, underneath the flaps that Like, those are wings, right? Or am I not seeing it right? Hmm. I'm guessing we'll get to flap our wings and actually fly soonish. Let's save. Um. This is spooky. Yikes, is that a moth? By the Queen, what a terrible fate. A moment of silence and solidarity for a fallen explorer. I think they're not, they're not fallen, I think they're probably alive. Yeah, they're having a little rest. Wait, he's alive! Quick, we must free him. Okay, I'm just gonna see if the, if the beam ring can cut through web. I'll make sure there are no other survive. Vi, watch out! V, watch out. Oh. Oh. Oh no! Ah, uh, ah, uh, a uh, spider! Oh god, it's so scary. How could a beast so huge sneak up on us? Kabu, we've got to run! Treasure ain't worth this! It's not that, we can't abandon this poor moth to his fate. I... I... V, V, wait! Curses. This has to be some cruel irony. However, I can't give up, even if I'm alone. I think purple means you're fighting in a cave or something? Maybe? <laughs> uh, I think knowing about this would be very helpful. Oh, I can't spy on it. Okay. That's what that red means. Uh, yeah, it's got to attack normally. Oh no. I did zero damage. That's not good. Uh, I can't flee either. Yeah, that's not good. It is stronger than it looks. Crud, it's too high up. If only V was here. Must I really sit here and do nothing? I, I guess so. It's, it's too much by myself after all. Everyone, I... I failed. You wasted your hopes on me. V? Look, I... By the holy jaws of the Queen, V, you left me to my fate. You were vile. Hey, I was gonna apologize, and I came back, right? You pushed me away from the web, but I still left, so I'm... I will properly scold you later. The situation is dire, but I've got a plan. We will attack the web holding the moth while battling the spider. And we bow when we free him? Precisely. Except we'll run together this time, without leaving anyone behind. I apologized already. Here it comes. Let's do this. Still can't spy, apparently. I guess you can't spy on bosses in this game. Ugh, I blocked too, too early. Thank you. 
Remember the plan, we must attack the web holding the moth captive. Alright, we did it! Be gone, wretched beast. Kabu, I'm done here! Well done. Let's get out of here! Leave us alone already, monster. <sighs> Gee, glad it's too fat to come in here. Um, Kabu, sorry for running away. <sighs> Very well, you are forgiven, V. It was understandable. Took you long enough. Most people will be crying at getting rescued. <coughs> Let's turn over a new leaf, V. This moth is our priority. You're awake. <laughs> what the? Hey, you okay? You hit your head? <laughs> Could this moth be speaking in an ancient tongue? Perhaps he is of the fabled tribes lurking underground. N no, we can speak Bugnish. Do you need, like, a minute? No. We are fine now. Thank goodness, you had us quite worried. Where are we? Where is the spider? Right, let's get you up to speed. Truly? It seems we owe our life to you, V. No big deal. It sucks that we're trapped, though. Were you looking for treasure as well, alongside fellow explorers? Uh, what's your name? Leaf is fine, and somewhat. A scouting mission, in fact. You've got some luck to be alive. Did you learn anything scouting? About the artifact? Artifact? If it was here, it's probably ahead. If we work together, we will surely find both it and the exit. We have little choice. We will accompany you. Can you fight? Not really part of scouting. Seriously? You came into this place without knowing how to fight? Make sure to stay behind us so we can protect you. How reassuring. Okay, we spent too much time here. Let's look for the exit. Okay, so we have an extra friend now. Can I play as him? Nope, not yet. He's just following us. <laughs> what a weird tablet. It's written in an even weirder language. It seems to be ancient script. Hmm, these letters look familiar to us. We should be able to decipher it. Let us check it again. You can switch your party order during battle using the strategy flower. Whoever is in front receives a bonus to attacking power. In return, said person is targeted more often by enemies. You can't switch if someone's exhausted all their turns. Oh, wait. If you mess it up, you lose it entirely? Okay. Eep, that ant is possessed. No way, zombie ant. That's just a story the queen tells kids to scare them. This is too creepy. I'm gonna take it out. Ah. Oh, that's what- oh, 101. Okay, so it doesn't stay 100, it changes slowly. Interesting. The way it works in the Paper Marios is, um, the number changes- the number stays at 100, but the amount you get from each battle goes down as you level up, so you have to fight tougher stuff. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, I'm not sure she can do much because of the. Yeah, we'll see how we go. What's my other skill? Heals 4 HP from ally while curing poison of an item from a secret stash. This does not consume normal items. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, only one damage. And zero damage, which is not in the front. Yeah, because the person in front gets a damage bonus. That's right. I'm getting to understand how this game works. Press B while in battle allows you to change who is currently acting without changing the party order. Each party member has different ways of attacking and different reaches for their attacks and skills. Mind who is currently acting to not waste actions on the wrong enemy. Oh, okay, so you don't have to swap the party order to have someone else take a turn. You found a crystal berry. Interesting. Because, yeah, Paper Mario, you just have the Z button to swap who's in front between Mario and his partner, and regardless of, like, what you do, it swaps both both their turn order and their actual order. So that's, that's an interesting change, that you have the option to do one or the other rather than necessarily both. If I press B, yeah, it just switches over. Interesting. I am really liking this. Oh, hello. I would like that. Uh, can I throw my boomerang to get it? Sorry, beamerang. Move from further this way. Oops. Well, that will work. I just need to do it better. <laughs> An HP plus medal increases an ally's HP by two. Okay, so yeah, this this was a thing in Paper Mario as well. Uh, you had medals that you had badges that would increase your HP. So uh, let's give that to you because you have a bit lower to start with. There we go. Okay. What's this say? Hitting an enemy outside of battle will stun it for a short amount of time. Entering battle while enemy is stunned grants one more action to the party leader. So that's how they handled first strikes. Interesting. Click. Because, yeah, a first strike normally you just do an attack, and that attack happens at the start of battle without consuming a turn, but giving you any action as an extra action is very interesting. Nice work, everyone. Leaf, watch out. What the heck? By the great ancestors, what kind of sorcery is that? 
We, uh, are unsure? This is new. You seriously expect us to believe that? We mean it, it's the truth. Magic's no common feat, there are less than ten known sorcerers in history. You're not some criminal with a huge bounty, are you? You seriously believe that? We will talk later. I take it you can fight now? We'll try. Wait, everyone. Now that we're a trio, let me share a useful technique. With turn relay picked from the colourful flower, one of us can lend our turn to another. How is that useful? It sounds tedious. Well, for example, we could let V attack twice to knock down flying enemies. Heh, <laughs> you should let me attack three times, I'll take them all on. I shouldn't abuse it like that, though. The exhaustion will reduce your attack power by one every time you act in a round. <sighs> fine. While it sounds mildly useful, we'll try it out. Now, on your guard. Oh, we're at full health, okay. It healed us for this boss battle, that's helpful. <sighs> Unbelievable. I want someone to spy on these so I know what they are. Ah! It's super annoying that you can mess it up like that. Interesting. By the Queen, what an abomination. I cannot hurt this beast while it is airborne. V, would you lend me your strength? Okay. I guess there's a party of three now. Goodness, that magic isn't a joke. It's pretty cool. If you truly couldn't do it before, this den is hiding more secrets than I first thought. Everything's just too suspicious. I don't believe Leaf yet. We're telling the truth. If we had ice magic, that accursed spider wouldn't have caught us. I say, let's focus on getting out alive and collect our thoughts when we're safe. Very well. If you need us to freeze anything, press B while we are leading. I guess it's fine for now. Onward. I can almost smell the treasure. You found an aphid egg. Nom 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 nom. Frozen enemies can't be stunned, but can be climbed on or used to hold switches. Interesting. Oops. <laughs> I'm glad that doesn't do damage like it does in Paper Mario. <laughs> My goodness. Eep! It's not funny, I'm all soaked now. Sorry V, I couldn't help it. it seems the ceiling's dripping. Ugh, why is there so much water in here? Under us? Above us? It doesn't make sense. Hmm, this is good though. What do you mean? If it's water... ...then it can be frozen. Impressive. If you can do that, it opens a lot of options for us. I bet I can push them with my horn as well. That's pretty cool, Leaf. Hmm, enemies. The water around us, even though they seem like obstacles, we can exploit them for our own benefit. Let's give your ice magic a try and all we can find. The craftsmanship on the statue is pretty good, compared to everything else at least. That it is, it's a shame this monument outlived its creators. Yeah, you only hear about roaches and folktales nowadays. Pardon? When did the roaches disappear? Uh, before I was born, I think. So, pretty recently? Hey! It was indeed quite a recent event. No one knows for sure the how or why, however. This is depressing talk. We should really find a way out. This can't be right. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Ooh. 
So press B. Yeah, the next player gets a turn and it doesn't change the actual order. Okay. Interesting. of the game to give you health back at the start of a boss fight. Like, a lot of games don't do that. This one apparently does. Found a honey drop. Some nice little ice puzzles there. Not too tricky. Can I... Yeah, I can. Ice magic does activate the save block. do you have? Icefall. Freeze any enemies around its impact radius. Interesting. Let's go to try. Neat. <laughs> oh, a mushroom was bound here too. Neat. Behind the big mushroom, there was a little mushroom. That checks out. Uh, I guess I'll see what's this way. I don't know what the correct way to go is. Might be a side thing. Geysers can be frozen. Frozen geysers can be used as platforms, but they thaw out after a while. By giving them a heavy strike, one can break them faster. Geysers can also carry around lightweight objects on top of them. Oh, I see. I assume it depends on how fast you press the correct button, how much damage that one does. Because I only got great that time instead of super. It took me a little bit longer. Start again because I fell down. It's a little fiddly. <laughs> Thank you. 
Frozen enemies cannot adapt and they take increased damage when hit in battle. However, hitting an enemy while it is frozen will thaw it out immediately. Make sense? Oh my god, there's so many of them. Wrong button. No. Oh, I was tricked. Blocking with precise timing is possible to further reduce damage received from enemies. If you block exactly when the enemy hits, an audio cue and different message will show up to confirm you've done so successfully. That is what's called a super block. Alright. It's gonna thaw out before we get over there, isn't it? Probably not a problem because we can do that. I am really liking this. I don't know if you've noticed. It's really good though. Oop. Too slow. Yeah. Level ups completely heal you like they do in Paper Mario. I'm not sure though. Do. Okay, it opens that. Is everyone alright? Did we cause the tremor? I guess. It was a pretty big switch. We must have made progress in unlocking the door. Let's keep going. Is there a door we're trying to unlock? I, I, I... Mushroom. Oh, right. Right, I see. Okay, so that's that whole side. Oh, I see what we're doing. Okay. Um, what's this, what's this say? Did I read this one already? When I'd have lost someone to do, the minus button give you the hint you've been looking for. This room is gigantic. Indeed, it's hard to know where to go. 
When in doubt, go left. No way, right is right. Given the way this cave has been laid out, I believe we will have to go both ways. What a drag. No joke, let's rest up and then explore some more. That does replenish my... yeah, it does. Um... I think I've pretty much gone through what we're doing for this video at this point. Uh... I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope it seems like a good game to you because I'm super excited. Um... I'm gonna keep playing this. Oop. I'm not very good at this stunning thing. <laughs> Oops, I forgot to... I forgot how to play the game. Teamwork points. Uh, yeah, it does max out everything when you level up. Cool. Just wanted to make sure. I expected it to because that is what happens in the other game that I keep referring to. That this one is similar to. Ooh, Poison Defender Medal. Increases an ally's defense while poisoned by one. Interesting. So a strat- like, that gives you a strategy where you want to get poisoned in order to increase your defense. Interesting. Hmm. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing for this video. I hope you've got a basic idea of what this game is like, and I hope you're as excited as I am. Because this looks really good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, it is exactly what I was expecting on the way in. It's a game like A Thousand Year Door with a unique IP so that people other than Nintendo are allowed to make it. You've got all these cute bugs, you've got all of the same, like, mechanics, you've got slightly tweaked things here and there to make it work with these characters. Oh, it, it looks really good and I'm really excited and I am looking forward to playing so much more of this. Oh my goodness. Bug Fables, The Everlasting Sapling. This game looks awesome. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Just flip through here a little bit. If I can read more. Oh, I see. So it gives you a bunch of info about everything. Okay, your bestiary. So this is the things I've tattled on, right? Yes. And then recipe book, records. Oh, I see. These are like achievements. Complete the game. Interesting. Quest list. Chapter 1. A dysfunctional trio. Trio. V and Kabu have passed Marky's trial and their explorer permit. Their first mission is to find the artifact hidden in Snake Mouth's den, located west of the association. The teamwork needs tuning, but they head out full of hope. After almost being eaten by a spider, V and Kabu rescued Leaf, a moth trapped in Snake Mouth's depths. With a new partner, the team continues their trek through the cave. Fair enough. Yeah, I've read this already. Oh my goodness. Uh, so yeah, Bug Fables. Looks real good, and I'm excited. And yeah, watch this, because it looks good to me. Does anyone have defense at all? No. Uh, I'll give it to you, because you don't have any defense otherwise. There we go. Thank you for watching. Bye! Bye bye bye.